what is going on everyone we are back to weekly uploads excited to get back into the fishing stuff with me doing all the hunting and stuff this off season and shooting and stuff like that that i've been doing but um anyways nice weather out 50 degrees out today here in ohio nice weather shorts and t-shirt weather well shorts and sweatshirt weather but anyways if you guys see we got these gray cranking with christian hats in stock right now we got i just picked up an order of 10 today and then i also got the camo ones which um if you guys have been on my instagram you guys have probably seen got those in stock too so if you guys would like those either of those make sure you guys go ahead and dm me on my instagram at cranking with christian and we will get you guys set up with a hat so anyways maybe throwing one out here in a giveaway here soon depends Today's video, maybe doing a giveaway on this too. Some of these things depends on what I get in it. Anyways, I've seen this come out by Mystery Tackle Box here lately, and a lot of people have been doing videos on them. So I'm like, why not? I'm gonna hop in on it too. But it is the new Mystery Tackle Box. I honestly don't remember what it's called, but it's the big purple Mystery Tackle Box. Um, but anyways, we're gonna be going and picking it up. It's supposedly it's like it's 60 bucks or 59.99. Supposedly it has like 80 dollars worth of baits in it. So we're going to check that out, see how true it is. Going to kind of go over what we get in it. This episode is just going to be pretty much a unboxing and review over that box. Here, once we get open water, because we still got a few inches of ice on the lakes, we are going to be doing a um, challenge with this to try to catch fish on every single bait in this box. So anyways, we're going to hop on to Dick's. I'm not sure if uh, I'm going to be able to film in there or not, but we're going to hop on over there to Dick's and we're going to get one of these boxes. All right, guys, right here is that new box. They've got pretty much everything you can want here. They got the pro boxes, regular MTB kits, the elites, but we are gonna get this. We're gonna go ahead and get this one over here. So, yep, there we go. This is 12, 15 baits, $80 value for 60 bucks. We're gonna get it. Probably gonna grab a few other baits, see what all's in it, and we're gonna get back to the house and do a little bit of a review. All right, we are back from Dick's, but when we got in there, there was a bunch of employees around and I I tried filming a little bit. The audio ended up turning out probably pretty bad, I'm guessing, by uh, what it was between having my mask up and just with my phone, um, microphone and stuff like that on it. So anyways, we got what we needed and uh, got out. So here's what we got. We got the mystery tackle box, mother load box. This supposedly it says it's got 12 to 15 baits in it and it's around an $80 value and it was 60 bucks so we're gonna find out what else what if this is a good deal or not for you guys anyways when we were there they had the new baby bowl gills so we ended up picking up a baby bowl gill and for a future video to kind of do a compare and contrast video I got the Guggen squad I think this clickbait that's what it is so that's what we got for today i'll pick that up later don't worry anyways main spot of this video is talking about this mystery tackle box mother load so anyways let's dig on into this i'm kind of excited to see what all's in this so first oh i guess there's tape on the other side too When you open it up, there is another box that doesn't want to come out. Oh well, I guess it's not supposed to come out, so I'm just going to open the lid from here. And we are in. And I'm already seeing two baits that I've never used before. I've heard about them. But I've never used them before. So, huh. This actually doesn't seem like it'll be too bad. But anyways, first thing I'll grab out is it gives the Dibble, which is a tips and trip or tips and tricks booklet thingy for uh, I guess fishing. And then it gives a little um it gives a little card that says what all comes in your box. Anyways, 
We already got that out of the way. Let's just dig into what's in this box. So, first off, we're going with the bait, the one that I said I've seen before, but I've never used, and that is the 13 Fishing Motor Boat. Um, I've, I've, I've never used one of these before. I've heard about them. They look interesting. I'm not sure how they'll work or not, but I'm definitely willing to give it a shot, which as you guys will find out here later when the ice melts, we are going to be doing a challenge video about this, trying to get a uh, catch a fish on all these baits. But that it's definitely an interesting bait. It's the 13 fishing motor boat. It's like a fluke with the end cut off. And then it's got a little uh, propeller on the back, kind of like what a buzz bait has. So it says it's four and a quarter inch long and a half ounce with a five aught hook, and it's a floating. So I guess it kind of is like a uh, like a buzz bait. So that'll be interesting. I think this may work, um, but we'll we'll find out. Next up is a boot. <laughs> Next up is a Bill Lewis SB57 Mark Daniels crankbait. Um, I'll give you guys a little close-up video as I pull these out and in the final video. This is a 3 8 ounce crankbait, 2 and a quarter inches, and it dives 3 to 6 foot. So it's just a little square bill right there. So Bill Lewis square bill. Looks like it would be a pretty good color. Um, this thing will probably get used quite a bit. I've never used Bill Lewis square bills before. I've used their lipless cranks but never these ones. So this will be interesting. I will definitely get use out of that. Next is a 13 fishing cliff banger. And this is a mid diving crankbait it looks like. It's got a little bill on it. It's a cliff banger 60. Um, it's two and three eighth inch, half ounce, number three rings, number four hooks, and it's a floating crankbait. Um, doesn't say how long or how far it'll dive. But this one is in mud bug punch. But that definitely is going to be a really good spring color for here in Ohio. Um, I'm definitely going to get some use out of that one too. I'll throw it. Um, oh, there it is. It says right there on the bill, eight foot diver. So that that's a really good size for me. Um, it's like a perfect crankbait for what I throw. So this will definitely get some use out of it. And hopefully uh, this thing will end up working. Okay, now we're getting to some interesting stuff. Um, this got blade bait, blitz blade, um, kind of an odd color. It says it's perch. It kind of looks like a perch. It just looks like a really light colored perch. Typically the perch around here are going to be like a green road or like changing into like an orangish yellow color, not just straight yellow and brown, but it says it's good for walleye, striper, and bass. This actually may be a good bass lure for cold water fishing this spring. Um, I... I've never really thrown blade baits too much, but I guess we're going to see how they work. I've actually wanted to get blade baits and get into throwing blade baits, so that's a good way to start. So, Next up is the Perfection Lures Nico Rig Set. Uh, oh, okay. So it looks like it already has nails. Yep, it already has nails in the head of this, and it's already got these metal rings around the bait, or a metal split ring around the bait for the hook to go by, and that's interesting. It comes with a regular hook, size one, and it comes with a weedless size one hook. So, that's, yeah, that's interesting. I've never, I've fished Nico rigs before, but nothing with like a metal split ring around it, and that was already pre-rigged like this, so... This will this will get used for sure this year, and it looks like it could be a good bait. It's in a decent color. It's in like a watermelon type color. I don't think it says the exact uh, the exact color on here, but it's in like a watermelon. Yep, yep, it does. Green pumpkin. That's what it is. So that's what it is. A green pumpkin trick worm with a split ring and then a nail in the head of it, and it's come with hooks and everything too. So that's. That would probably be pretty expensive to set up. When I say expensive, I mean probably 10 bucks if you go and get the baits, the hooks, and the split ring separately. All right. Find out what you've won. Go to Mystery Tackle Box and enter the promo code. Oh, it gives you a chance to win at a low stinger bass boat. So you get that little coupon in there. I'll do that. Look it up after I'm done with this. But anyways, got a Guggen Squad Zinger um, spinner bait. This is a, what size is this? 
3 8 ounce Colorado and Willow Blade spinner bait and a color that I like throwing too. So this one's going to be a good bait to uh, use. This is going to get a lot of use. I know I'm saying that a lot, but some of these baits are really well used a ton. So I'm actually glad with what I've been getting in here so far. But yeah, there we go. Spinner bait. Nothing special about the spinner baits. Um, it's kind of hard to mess up a spinner bait in my opinion. Um, but you know, I'm sure there's people that do it, but I I haven't really found a bad spinner bait. I've used everything down to the Walmart one dollar spinner baits, and just put a little bit of upgraded uh, accessories or tackle on it, so like new uh, rings or some beads and stuff like that on it, and it's worked fine. So there we go, spinner bait. Next up is the spear point wide gap. That is a weird hook. Um, two pack three aught hooks right there. Never heard of it really but they're they're interesting so we'll we'll figure out what that goes with here soon i think there's two baits in here that'll that'll probably end up going with all right moving on is a strike pro jerk is this a jerk bait i'm i'm guessing this is a jerk bait a beekster 90 iu Floating 4.5 to 6 foot diving crankbait. Yeah, I'm guessing that's a little jerk bait right here. Um, it at least looks like a jerk bait. The bill on it just kind of throws me for a little bit of a loop, but it looks like a jerk bait. Um, good color and everything. Probably will end up working. Not sure how much I use it because I don't fish jerk baits too often, but yeah, I mean, that's interesting. I haven't used those before. So, next up is. Shaky heads, sweet. I actually needed some shaky heads. So these are the Perfection Lures Stand Up Jig Head Shaky Heads, one eighth ounce, good size for what I'm gonna throw it on for a little, little finesse, uh, finesse shaky head type stuff. So it's actually got two little wings off the back, little wires to help stand it up straight up instead of falling down like what some uh, shaky heads do. A lot of them just have the flat bottom of the head, so then when it falls down, it'll land on that flat bottom and the lure will. Uh, float up but if you don't have a lure that floats that well this one will really work to help keep it standing up so there we go that was the next thing in here and then last we got three different um, soft plastics first up is the Stan Sloan Zorro Bait Company Ninny Crawl three inch there's 20 crawls in here they're little finesse crawls that'll work good for a trailer on a few different things I'm guessing that's what probably goes on these three aught uh, wide gap hooks maybe they look a little bit too small to go on those but so that's probably gonna be one of the other baits there's really no hooks for that in here so something where you'll have to use your own hooks which isn't a big deal but it'll probably end up being a trailer bait for me so there we go just a little crawl bait then we got the cabin creek bait company crawl um, I don't think it says the exact type of bait this is, but it looks like just a little green pumpkin, something like that crawl in there. Would be another good uh, trailer bait. This one is a little bit bigger, so this would probably flip or go on those uh, wide gap hooks or the shaky heads fairly well. But this last bait looks like it'll go best on there. And this last bait is the Bruiser Baits Avenger and Watermelon Red, which is a good, probably a really good color. Um, yeah, that's a good color right there. So it's a little crawl bait or crawl imitator bait, and uh, it's actually very soft. Actually feels really good. So um, a lot of the times you get these baits that you've really never heard of, and that they're just like they just feel really weird. This one feels really soft, and it feels pretty good. So it's in a color I'll use. So I'll definitely use these. Probably use a lot of this stuff for more of like pond hopping stuff that I do. Probably not keep on my boat for tournament stuff. But it'll be good for another video to be able to go through and um, <laughs> comes with a little sticker too. But go through and uh, make a video about catching a fish on each one of these lures. So there's definitely some interesting things in here. Um, interested, I'm, in, I'm interested to see how some of it pans out. But yeah, I mean it looks, some of these things I'm actually impressed with. Um, just going off of here. I don't know if personally for me because I kind of know exactly what baits I use and what baits I like personally I don't think it's worth the price for it based off what we have here 
Um, Bill Lewis crankbait I'll use, spinnerbait I'll use, uh, the cliffbanger I'll use, maybe the jerkbait. I mean, I'll use everything in here. Just going quickly going off of each thing. But, sorry about the wind, it just picked up wind pretty bad. But I would use everything in here. Um, out fishing, pond fishing, kayak fishing, something like that. Um, boat, just fun fishing off my boat. I wouldn't use any of it probably in tournaments. Maybe the 13 fishing banger, the Bill Lewis crankbait, and the spinner bait, because that's that's just pretty standard stuff to use. The other stuff, I'm not sure if I would use it during a tournament or not. Kind of depends on what I find out whenever I'm out just fun fishing with it. But if you're just somebody that wants to get a variety of different baits and try out a bunch of different stuff, this is perfect for you. I would recommend this. So nothing bad about it. Um, it's how all those mystery tackle boxes are. Sometimes I'll get a regular mystery tackle box from Walmart because they're like 16 or 17 bucks at my Walmart. And I'll get it and I'll love the stuff in it. Like one I got had a Dobbin spinnerbait in it, which I've been looking for forever because I didn't want to order them. And that I love that box. There was a few things in there that I would absolutely use all the time. So I was really happy with that. Some of them I get some stuff that I've never even heard of or will never even use. So it's always a hit or miss. This stuff was definitely mixed with some stuff that I would be using, like I said, and I pointed out the ones I'll definitely use already. But there's also a few things in here that are kind of iffy. Um, is it worth that $60 price? I would say yes. I'd say the baits that amount in here are 60 bucks. I don't know if I would go quite as far as saying $80. Um, I could get probably the same baits, the to equal the exact same stuff and a little bit better quality stuff for probably about the 60 or $70 um, price, but getting exactly what I want. I mean, I could get a War Eagle spinnerbait, a Rapala DT6, a Strike King KVD 1.5, Reaction Innervation, Kinky Beavers, some Strike King Crawls, or not Strike King Crawls, but some Zoom Crawls, some um, net baits, just stuff like that. And I think I would be right around that same price. So I could really fine tune what I get for probably the same price and get about the same stuff. But like I mentioned, if you're just somebody that wants to try out a bunch of baits and you're not really brand specific, you're not really um, technique specific, you're, you're just wanting to go have a good time. This is perfect for you. And I'm not disappointed at all with it. It was a, it was a good little thing to do. Um, and it was definitely interesting for me. I like doing stuff like this to be able to unbox stuff that I've got no idea what to expect. So anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video with everything that came in this box. Stay tuned for probably in the next month, maybe two months, I will be taking these out and trying to do the mother load challenge of catching a fish on every bait I got in this box. These are about to go right back in and it's gonna be sealed up until that video. So, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a review or unboxing of the Mother Load box and all the baits that came in it. So maybe it helped you make your decision if you want to go buy one or not. But from what I know or what I've heard, all of these things are differently. You never know what you're going to get in it. Sometimes mystery tackle boxes that each month everybody gets the same baits or stuff like that. I've, I've seen it happen several times. Um, I know it's really not supposed to happen from what they say, but I've seen it done. So maybe you guys want to go get one of these and uh, check out what all baits they have. If you guys want to see me do another one with another one of these uh, mother load bass boxes, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, if you guys are interested in hats, DM me on my Instagram to guys so you guys can pick up a hat. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys in the next video.